Welcome to Launch Control, an all-out long drive tournament with big shots, broken clubs, fierce competition, large crowds, and analysis from the legend himself, Lee Cox. Our competitors are Cassandra Meyer, aka Cass Marie, and Gabby Powell, both from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Sam Judah, the lunatic of the group, Sonia Knebel, the local long drive champ, Ryan Gregnall, the Canadian Lumberjack, and Martin Borgmeier, World Long Drive Champion. Get ready for six preliminary matches, each worth one point, and the ladies and men's final right after that. Lee, who's facing each other in our first one? Match one of the girls, this local girl, Sonia Neville, up against Gabby Powell of the US. Taylor the tape, not much between them. Let's see how this match pans out. Six shots per hitter. Uh, Sonia's going first, the ball has to land in and stay in to count. Uh, obviously the longest distance will progress or score a point in this competition. Sonia's background, a professional golfer by trade, you can see from this great swing, transitioning to long drive. I'd expect her to be a really successful long driver in the next few years, I think you'll hear a lot of her. Sonia's gone first, uh, sometimes good to put up a marker score. Uh, we can see on the left there's going to be club speed coming up with ball speed below that. Lale PGA Tour, they'll be swinging it on average about 94, 95 miles an hour. We're going to see some speeds up here near 120. If we look on the left here, 117, 176, that's a very good number. She was celebrating as she hit 345. 345, that's a very big number you can see from her excitement. One twenty, one twenty in ladies' long drive and near one eighty ball speed is a tremendous number. Uh, we've got five shots in here, three forty-five. I think Sonia would be very happy with that number to chase uh, for Gabby. One seventeen, there one six four, slightly lower ball speeds. But Gabby's going to have to try and hit a shot here. Certainly one ten plus at good flight with good spin to overtake that. So G Gabby, a college golfer originally, so a very good player. Transition into long drive. And you can see her trying to implement some long drive moves here. You'll see her trying to get her feet working and uh, trying to get what would be, I would call a trigger movement going or a counter movement going to start off a swing. Left foot lifts as she push on to the right side. Her club head speed at this moment, 112. Ball speed, 151. She's gonna need a little bit more here to get past Sonia. <laughs> so, uh, as can happen in long drive, she's just broken the club off her back. Uh, as you swing the club very fast through, sometimes it's difficult to decelerate it quick enough to stop it. Gabby's got another club here, she's got three shots. At the moment, three OB. Long drivers aren't worried about OB, they're only interested in the shot that's going to hit the grid. Let's see if she can find a good one. At 175 apex at 113 speed. Now the ball speed's a bit better. Coming back at 313, she's still got that 30 yard gap to make up. Club head speed, one for now. Gabby's picking up a club and ball speed. I would expect that to come up with a slightly bigger number. 327, excellent number there. Still at this point here, she looks confident. She's got one ball left. I think that's a big amount to make up for the last shot. And she doesn't like it. And we have our first match winner of the night. Sonia's 345 bullet beat Gabby's 327. And we are on to a great start of this long drive night. Therefore, Sonia gained one point and Gabby still has a chance to score later on and advance to the final. But first, Lee, who are our next two competitors? Next match up. It's Cassandra Meyer against Sonia. Sonia coming off the back of that last one would feel confident. Cassandra was a very good player, played pro golf. 
It will be interesting to see this. I, I wouldn't believe there's going to be much in between these two. 118 and 172. Pretty optimal. We can see the ball landing in the grid here. And uh, 318 to start off. First shot. Uh, first shot in can always build on that for uh, pushing the speeds in the next. 119. Slightly lower profile on the ball. A little bit of cut on that. But she'll be very happy at 334. Now that looks a very good flight. 119, 177. The height of the ball was good, as was the land. Uh, I think that might put, uh, push a number a little bit further. And it does up there at 339. Uh, these players feed off adrenaline. You can see Sonia getting excited here and working the crowd. Uh, she's going to try and use that as advantage to push those speeds a bit more. Okay, 120 and 178. That's about uh, Sonia's best number. She doesn't uh, shake the ball very much. Um, unfortunately, that one's just drifted slightly out of bounds. Last ball here to try and improve on a number of 339. Looks like she's lost that a little bit off to the left. 118 club, 172 ball. A 309 there for that shot. But unfortunately, just OB. What's your thoughts on the 339, Lee? Okay, so you're 339, Cass coming up here. Cassandra has an excellent swing. You'll see as, uh, as she starts to hit some shots here, really is a high level goal swing. It's interesting when you look at uh, these swings, Cassandra will be more of a pure golfer against some other hitters who might be just freakishly fast. So just sit back and enjoy this swing. Okay, 339 is the number to beat. Uh, 304, she's off the mark. 189 Apex here, uh, probably just a touch too high, sliding out to the right and OB. For you sitting at home, if you wanted to swing to model on, this would be a cracker. Just pure control, uh, but with speed as well. You know, just a really great swing. Looking at this little, uh, looking at this shot coming in here, 115 club, little draw down the right hand side. We can see it hitting the grid here. Uh, I think this is going to start to push on Sonia's number. It's come up a little bit short. Two shots here to get past Sonia's 339. 176 up the right. Last ball coming. The crowd are going to help. Let's see what she's got. Oh, that's a great looking goal shot. 160 height. I'd expect this to give 339 a bit of a close going too. Okay. <laughs> wow, 340. As soon as that ball left the face, you really had a sense of her hitting a great shot there. Thank you for your insights, Lee. So match two goes to Cassandra with a 340 yard ball against Sonia's 339. Both now have one point and Gabby needs to score to have a chance to advance. Lee, what's your projection for match three? From here, we'll, we would be interested in looking at the first match, whether Gabby can overcome that slight club head difference. She seemed to be a couple miles an hour slower than the other girls, but let's see if she can optimize her launch to squeeze out a couple more yards. Gabby's first shot here. Uh, looks like it's lost the grid. Um, seeing a 111 at the moment. We can see a difference in the swing here. Gabby uh, trying to add some long drive moves to the swing, which is given a very good speed at 112. Maybe not quite the control of Cassandra's at the moment. She's not really in sync yet. She's hit three OB in a row. Let's hope she can find it. So she's gonna need a better ball in these last two balls, I think, to put up a good enough number to make Cassandra work for it. Her club head speed stays pretty consistent throughout this set, but this shot looks pummeled down the right side. To 327, I think she's gonna need another 15 yards more here. 
Her clubhead speeds are just sitting below, so she needs to strike this perfectly. What, did she really break another one? Uh, another club bites the dust. Ball is still in the air. Now coming down at 309. Seems like she's banging that shaft so hard off her back, this one broke into three pieces. In long drive, you can break some clubs. Uh, she's done two in, two in two sets. That could get a little, bit, a little bit expensive. I don't know how many she's got left, but. Gabby speeds there at 113, 327. Cassandra had been further than this in the last set. I don't think Cassandra needs to overly push this. I think she's got the speed there at 114. I think this is gettable. I think Cassandra would feel confident that she can just edge past that yardage. And this might be at 176 apex. I think a solid ball flight, similar to the first set. Land angle is going to be good. I'll be interested to see how this one rolls out. And it rolls out to a massive 345. Did you already see that when the numbers popped up? Sometimes you can see from the flight itself what yardage has come up, and that's that's enough to progress to the uh, to the next round. And with that, Cassandra won her second match, putting her at two points total. Unfortunately, Gabby got eliminated, and Sonia is going to face Cassandra in the final. But before that, let's head over to the men. First matchup of the men: Ryan Gregnell against Sam Judah. Sam Judah from Alabama. Ryan Gregnell from Canada. Ryan's got better with age, and he's now one of the elite long drivers. Uh, he's taken the sport more seriously the last few years. What are you aiming for distance-wise tonight? I mean, I hope we still take it over 400 for y'all. That's what we want to hear, and that's what we need to see. So it's the Canadian Lumberjack to go first. Ryan up first here. His first shot out. Well, this, this is perfect flight, 200 apex. Uh, landing here at 148 220. I'm expecting a big number. Dude. And it's massive. It's 443 straight off. Now, now uh, the Ryan's dressed uh, in a Canadian attire. Very interested in those boots. Ryan has tremendous footwork uh, for a long drive, which we'll see. We'll, we'll see his left foot floating away here. Uh, I actually see no problem with these, these, these shoes for him. Ryan hits a lot of shots out the middle of the face, and if he gets hot, uh, he can really put up a series of good numbers. Classic long drive swing here for Ryan. Slightly past parallel. Uh, pushes down into that lead foot and off it very quickly. Left foot will move away. Hits the middle a lot. It's not just about club head speed. We can see Ryan's ball speed there at 224. 224 is a big number, even for the Canadian Lumberjack. But besides ball speed being important, how important do you think the height of the ball flight is? So it looks like the, the 200 foot's a good ball flight for the men. So let's see if we can progress on that number, 412. I think he quite liked it. Obviously, the ball landing has a, an effect on whether the, what the ground's like. It's been raining here in the last week. Ryan's first ball at 443 is also his final distance and the number to beat for Sam. I'm a big man, Sam, but standing beside all of you guys, I feel so little and small. How pumped up are you for this evening? Oh, I'm excited. This is going to get fun. Thank you, everybody, for staying around. This is about to be insane. Get ready. Sam Judah. New to the sport, uh, really from a pro baseball background. Sam's really a freak of speed. Not really an orthodox golf swing. He, do he doesn't come from a golfing background. But what he does have is pure speed. Um, I don't think he's in the hottest of form at the moment. Uh, his speed will be there for Sam today. It's just whether he can get a flight that he likes and a contact he likes. So if we look at the numbers on the left, very equal to Ryan's uh, club head speed, but the ball speed a little bit lower. Sam tends to fade the ball a little bit. So um, if we're just trying to get one that cuts a little bit less off to the right. And for those at home watching, club head speed is important. But you've also got to find the middle of the face. And you've got to get a flight that you want. So Sam not really uh, getting to the strike that he likes at the moment. Another very good club head speed at 148 and 209. Sam here will be working very hard on his golf technique. He has the speed to be... Uh, and he's one of the great long drivers out there, but Sam, just not on. at the moment finding the middle of the face. Last attempt from Sam, he's got a big number to chase. And we can see from his reaction, he doesn't like it. Ryan put up such a great number there. I, you know, you're looking at Sam 
He knew he had a big number to chase. That going first and putting a great number can put so much pressure on a, a long driver. And Ryan progresses with 443. 410 is actually not a bad number, but it looks so tiny next to Ryan's 443. And now Sam's up again against Martin Borgmeyer. Who you got in this one, Lee? It won't be a huge amount of difference in club head speed. Martin will have the edge here. Martin's been in very good form uh, recently. Uh, hit very well last week. And uh, I've worked with Martin. We've done an awful lot of work on his swing in the last couple of years. And uh, now it's really down to the detail. He's really worked hard in trying to get the, the amount of spin on the ball, either right or left, down to a very manageable number. And he's been trying to get his ball speed through a set to be a, a better average high. Um, he's been hitting it very well. He's very confident. I would expect him to do well today. Now he's liking this shot. He's shouting at it. 155 club head speed is fantastic. 228. Well, this has to come back if it makes the grid with a big number. Looks like this kept drifting right and just crossed the OB line eventually. Prized even Martin a little bit. Really loving the profile on this 190, which is a similar height to what Ryan Gregnell had. But at 160 club head speed is unbelievable. 225. Uh, this is going to come up. 425. Still a good number, but I think Martin can push on that. Let's see if he can step on another one and maybe even push club speed a bit. 161, uh, 212, 229. Uh, if this doesn't come out a, a, a big number, I'll be seriously surprised. Martin would be exceptionally happy with that. And it's rolling out there uh, just to the 440 mark. In a, in a long drive set, two or three shots in the grid will be uh, more than enough. So Martin's got two in. Let's see if he can build on that with his last number. We'll see Martin's curvature on the ball is so low at the moment. He'll be very happy with that. Martin occasionally loses the ball left. And his last ball is absolutely smoked too. 154 club, 227 ball speed should produce another big one. It had the carry, but didn't get the rollout Martin was hoping for. So his top distance remains at 440. Sam needs to hit it 441 to beat Martin and also still have a chance to move on. Otherwise, this set is his last one of the tournament. How are his chances, Lee? Club at speed, it's there for Sam. It's only a matter of whether he can square this face up and control his flight. He alluded to the fact he wasn't in his best form. World Championships a few weeks away. Probably not at the peak of his uh, uh, powers at the moment. First ball OB, second ball. So we can see Sam doesn't really have what would be regarded as a classic golf swing. Yeah, and it would be interesting for him going forward if he, as he improves his technique, as I know he is, uh, he really, if he can be more consistent, would be a, an even better long driver than he is at the moment. More baseball style than golf swing. But he has the thing, the magic thing that most guys don't have is the super speed. So excited to see where Sam goes next few years. He went from zero to world level long drive. Is the speed he's putting up fast enough to compete on a world stage though? He's probably five miles an hour slower than he would be. Every mile an hour club base speed is worth about 2.8 yards. So Martin's got more firepower. And because he's hit a good one, this will be a, a mountain to climb, I think, for Sam. Club speed is important, but that's not his main issue, is it? He's really just not quite making connection as he'd like to. 150 again. Club at speed, 221, it is a better ball flight, but I don't think it's going to be enough to overtake Martin, who, who really looks in good form today. The winning number remains at 440, and with that, Martin scores another point. This makes the third men's match obsolete, and the ladies finalists Sonia and Cass are followed by Martin and Ryan. First up are the ladies. Lee, any predictions from your end? This is a tough one to call, really tough. Uh, not much from their first meeting. I think this will be inches, yards, not much more than that. They're very evenly matched. Sonia's going first. Uh, I'd always like to go first to put a number up. 117, 173, it's in the grid. I think she'll be happy with that, but I don't believe it's enough to win. Sonia, um, uh, club-wise, uh, spin can be a little problem for her. The club's got a little bit too much loft on it. So it'd be interesting to see if she can control a flight enough. And we believe that 330 to 340 number will be... Uh, uh, in the mix. So far, she just continues where she left off in her last match. Very impressive speeds, and like you said, some of the balls just seem a little spinny, like this last one at 309. Three balls left. 
Uh, she liked that from a, a, a point of view, 118, 175, so still terrific numbers. I think for her, anything up near the sort of high 170s ball speed at a good flight. 120, 180, I mean, that's a, that's a record for her ball speed wise. She'll be delighted putting that number up, as we, as we can see. So 350. Oh. Now, I mean, that's just a tremendous number at the BMW men's event. Not many men will be doing that on the actual DP World Tour, as it is. Well, six balls down, 350. I'd be happy if I was Sonia. This is going to take something special from Cassandra. Um, Cassandra's ball flight, I was really impressed in the first match there. I think, given the exact flight... She could just squeeze past this. She's got six shots to prove me right or wrong. Again, a really good swing. It's interesting that we were looking earlier about Gabby with a lot of long drive moves. Cassandra with not as many. If she added those, would she add more speed? Might be an interesting journey for her to take. 178 here. A nice peak flight. We're seeing this coming down in the grid. Uh, it's just missed up the right, but... 342, she's got that number close now. That little flight of hers, if she can turn that right to left, I think this will be a tight one. And you're right, Lee. This thing carried over 320 and just keeps rolling and rolling up to 345. Well, three balls to overturn this five yard deficit. Too high. Uh, too high, we can see from the ball speed there. That won't be going anywhere too close to uh, uh, to beating uh, Sonia. Two balls left. Uh, I think she just needs to just know that. Okay, this is close, right to left flight at 181 apex. This should roll out a little bit more. I think this has a chance. I think it <laughs> just just turns it over. Beautiful profile flight when she needed it, and uh, to win by two yards, there wasn't much in it as we suggested. Lovely win for Cassandra. What a performance from Cass with a 352 bomb on the fifth ball of her set. She was on the hunt and was able to take down Sonya by just a couple yards. Let's see what she has to say. The hell did she do that? I'm, I'm not sure. This is my first win, guys. So. Okay. Congratulations, Cass. What an amazing first win here in Munich. Now on to the men's final. It's Ryan Gregnell, who I thought was superb earlier against Martin Borgmeier, uh, the home favourite. It's Ryan Gregnell to go first. Martin. Solltest du das Ding verlieren, dann liegt an, der Schuh, an den Schuhen und an der Hose. Da lege ich mich jetzt fest. Ja. Also zeig München, dass du auch Timberlands und kurze Jeans kannst. Das nächste Mal komme ich auch mit Axt rein und so einer Jeans. Ja, ja so. So einfach. I think Ryan has been wearing these boots though. I think you should keep going with them. He, he look really good in them. And probably as good as I've seen him here in, in, in my experience of watching him in a few balls. He looks very comfortable, very relaxed, and he hits the middle a lot. 4.30, that's a very good start number. I think Martin might need to get out of the way here. Ryan, Ryan might take him out before that. 151, 219, uh, pretty good numbers. Now, he's jumping. I think he likes this. Let's see how this comes back flight-wise. Looks like a decent shot from Ryan, but it's just a little too far left. One fifty one, two twenty five. These numbers are unbelievable, but they've got to find the grid. Martin pacing up and down here, waiting to see if Ryan can add on that four thirty. And that's a rocket right down the middle at two twenty seven ball speed. But will it also get the distance? We can see the ball landing here up the top right and rolling out to that number. That, that was a that's a good marker. Four thirty six. It's a very very good number. Martin can't just hit any old shot. He's going to have to hit a great one to get past him. Last ball for Ryan. Let's see if he can add to 436. Watch the numbers on the left here, club and ball. 152, 228. 
it comes down on the grid let's see where this has gone 436 436 is the number to beat for Martin Ryan added another 435 on his last shot what's going through Martin's mind right now so Martin, Martin would feel confident I think going into this um, he's had very good control on his ball uh, people marvel at how fast long drive guys are but it's club head speed first, ball speed second, launch and spin last. Now Martin at the moment has the club and ball speed. It's all about launch and spin. Martin's got to get near this 200 feet ball flight without a great deal of curvature. If he gets it, he'll just edge past Ryan, I believe. Martin's loving this first shot, 157, uh, 230 ball speed. Well, if it's straight on the right flight, as we can see from the right, I would expect this to take it down. Martin, 4.42, what a goal shot, straight out of the hat, unbelievable.